Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. This is Amanullah. You're watching my YouTube channel, Dr. Aman's video. Today we are here to discuss the mechanism of thrombocytopenia in dengue fever. As we know that thrombocytopenia is one of the very common symptoms or clinical manifestation in dengue virus infection and it is also one of the most important cause of bleeding in the patient infected with dengue virus. So therefore we are here to discuss that what is the underlying mechanism of thrombocytopenia or decreased count of platelet in dengue virus infection. Primarily the thrombocytopenia depend upon the two events. The first event is the increased destruction or clearance of platelet from blood circulation while the second event is the decreased production of platelet in bone marrow. So we will discuss one by one. First of all the first event is due to the activation of platelet by dengue virus. Dengue virus has the ability to activate platelet and this activation of platelet leads to many events which result in the clearance or lysis of platelet in blood circulation like the activation of platelet also result in the apoptosis in the initiation of the apoptosis of platelet we know that apoptosis some people also pronounce it as a apoptosis so apoptosis or apoptosis is the self death which result in the lysis of the platelet. Secondly, activation of the platelet result in the increased binding of complement C3 and IgG on the surface of the platelet. When C3 bind to the surface of the platelet, it result in the complement mediated lysis of the platelet. While IgG bind to platelet, so it increase the phagocytosis of the platelet by macrophages and these both events result in the clearance or depletion of platelet from normal blood circulation. Activation of platelet also result the increased phagocytosis of these activated platelet by monocytes which also result in the clearance or depletion of platelet while activated platelet also start formation of clot or thrombus inside the vascular system and the formation of clot or thrombus sequester the platelet from normal blood circulation of course which results in the decreased count of the platelet. So besides these event dengue virus has ability to infect a platelet and they can inside the platelet they can multiply and grow and these virus infected platelets are sequestered by the reticulendothelial system which results clearance of platelet uh, from the normal blood circulation. So these are the ev different events which results in the lysis or clearance of the platelet from normal blood circulation and all these different events rest on the activation of the platelet by dengue virus. Besides this first event, there is another event which is the decreased production of platelet by bone marrow. As we know that dengue virus can infect a large number of cells including megakaryocytes and other bone marrow cells. The infection of megakaryocytes and other bone marrow cells result in the suppression of bone marrow which further lead to the decreased production of the platelet. So bo these both events collectively result in the thrombocytopenia in dengue virus infection. And this thrombocytopenia usually start at the fourth day of the fever and it goes to peak and from six to eight days it start decreasing at, at the day 10 of the fever it come to the normal level of the platelet. So this was all about the mechanism of thrombocytopenia in dengue virus infection. I hope you would find this video beneficial. If you like this video then I would of course request for the subscription of my channel Dr. Aman's video. Please try to hit bell icon in order to get notification for my upcoming video. Thank you so much for watching my YouTube Fi Amanullah.